Our boy Carlo boy and today it's devotion time. Kapatid, welcome again to our YouTube channel. This is your boy Carly Boy and I hope that you are doing well in this situation, in this pandemic that we are in. And patuloy na wa nagabayan kayo ng Panginoon in this battle that we are going through. Tuloy-tuloy lang kapatid, tuloy-tuloy lang ang ating uh, paglaban, ang ating pag-disinfect, ang ating pagsunod sa ating mga health protocols. It is also for us. Okay? So, ngayon mga kapatid, I just want to ask you before we start this video, or before we start the devotion that we have this moment is that you like, share, and subscribe. You share this video to everyone that you know na nais makarinig ng salita ng Panginoon. And also, you like this video and of course, you subscribe. Alright? This will be very helpful for me. So, the, this moment, ang pag-uusapan po natin is about who is Jesus? Sino nga ba si Jesus Christ according to the Bible? Sino nga ba siya? Sino nga ba si Jesus Christ? At yan ang itatakal natin today. Um, I know that a lot of you have already have already known, di ba? Alam nyo na kung sino si Jesus Christ. Some of you, di ba, are born and raised in, in the Christian faith. Alam nyo na kapag sinabing si Jesus Christ, you know this man. Diba? Pag sinabi sa ating Jesus, si, sino si Jesus Christ? Ah, siya yung man na nakahang sa cross. He, 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 was, he was crucified 2,000 years ago. Of course, yun yung alam natin, definitely. And that is the truth din, mga kapatid. But all of us have an idea who Jesus is. We have this idea na kung saan, alam natin kung sino siya. Pero we do not have this kind of parang best friend type di ba yung parang di ba sa isang mag best friend at mag di ba sa isang mag best friend alam nila kung sino yung isa't isa di ba kilatis pa lang ng isa't isa alam na nila so dapat ganun din tayo kay Jesus dapat when 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 people are asking us na tatanong sa tanong sa atin sino ba si Jesus Christ di ba ang isasagot natin hindi lang siya yung napako sa cross 2000 years ago but we have an answer more than that at yun yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Alam natin, lahat tayo, again, may idea kung sino si Jesus Christ. But, sino nga ba talaga si Jesus Christ, really? Bakit importante na malaman ng isang Kristiyano kung sino si Jesus Christ? Una po, first of all, it is critical for a Christian to understand who Christ is and have a firm foundation on His person. Napakahalaga po sa atin bilang mga Kristiyano na magkaroon ng tamang pagkakakilala sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo at magkaroon ng firm foundation sa kanyang pagkatao. Bilang mga Kristiyano na nagpo-profess, na sumusunod, di ba sa ating mga salita, sinasabi natin, ah, Christian ako. Dapat, kung Christian ka, alam natin kung sino si Jesus Christ. Tandaan nyo po na kung mababaw ang pagkakakilala natin kay Jesus Christ, panigurado mababaw din ang desire natin na sumunod sa Kanya. Mababaw din ang desire natin na purihin siya, na mamuhay para sa kanya. Pero, kung meron tayong malalim na pagkakakilala sa Panginoong Iso Kristo is that we will also serve Him, we will live for Him definitely sa buhay natin. Siya yung uunahin natin. Why? Kasi meron tayong malalim na pagkakakilala sa kanya. Okay, so now, let's talk deeper unto His person dito sa ating devotion. Okay? So, una po, definitely, he became flesh and dwelt among us. Alam naman natin, di ba, the story, okay? The story of Joseph and Mary. And then afterwards, nag-conceive si Mary through the work of the Holy Spirit. And then, Jesus Christ was born through the virgin birth. Okay? Mary conceived Jesus Christ. He was a virgin that time. At uh, afternoon then na-conceive niya si Jesus Christ okay he was he, he became human he is a human being definitely 100% how 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 do you want to put it 100% fully human whatever you want to put it Jesus Christ is certainly human okay but then again bakit anong sabi kasi nga sabi na Philippians chapter 2 verse 6 to 8 though he was god sabi rito he did not think of equality with god as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges 
He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. When he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and died a criminal's death on the cross. Tandaan po ninyo na si Jesus Christ mga kapatid ay definitely namuhay bilang isang tao. Siya po ay nakaramdam, John 11.35, siya po ay umiyak, siya po ay nakaranas ng siya ka po ay nakaranas masakta, di ba? When he was when he was being beaten up, siya po ay nakaranas ng pamumuhay bilang isang bilang isang tao, di ba? Anak siya ng isang karpintero. Definitely Jesus Christ, we cannot deny that. Jesus Christ is a hundred percent fully human. We cannot deny it, di ba? Nga sabi nun, no? kasi though he was God, though Jesus Christ himself is God, okay? He did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Pero nang ginawa niya po dun, he gave up his divine privileges for us, mga kapatid. From his throne above, to the manger, to the cross, para po lahat yun sa atin. And number two, number two, number two, para, para malaman talaga natin, una, of course, he became flesh and dwelt among us. Diba? Nagkatawang taong ating Panginoong Isa Kristo. He is 100% human. And then sunod po that He is fully God. He is 100% God. He is fully God. Because, diba, sabi niya sa John 10, sa John chapter 10, verse 30, I and my Father are one. Okay? I and my Father are one. Ano yung meaning nito? The, the Jews know what Jesus Christ is talking about. Di ba bakit? Kasi kung babasahin natin yung pababang context nun, definitely, bakit? Babatuhin siya ng mga hudyo. Why? Because he, a human, is claiming to be God. Because the Jews know kung ano yun. So, yung mga hudyo po, alam po nila yung sinasabi ni Jesus Christ. They definitely know na si Jesus Christ is claiming to be one with the Father. Okay, alam po nila yung sinasabi ni, ng context ni Jesus, ano yung sinasabi ni Jesus Christ when He said that I and my Father are one. Okay? So, kaya nga ang gagawin nila, babatuhin nila eh. Di ba? Babatuhin nila siya. And we could see that Jesus was able to forgive sins on the earth. On this earth, Jesus was able to heal. Jesus was, just imagine the miracles that Jesus did. Di ba? And the reason why we believe that He is God? Because after the third day, He rose again and seated at the right hand of God, the Father. Okay? So definitely, Jesus. The reason also is that para malaman talaga natin, makilala natin si Jesus Christ, we have to believe that He is human and we have to believe that He is God. He is fully God, He is fully human as Arsis Prol used to say it. And number three, mga kapatid, He is the only way to heaven. He is the only way to heaven. In John chapter 14, verse 6, sabi niya rito, uh, sabi dito, Jesus declares, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Such a, a, a very, very strong claim, mga kapatid. Jesus Christ is claiming that He is the only way. He is the only truth. He is the only life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. Ano pong sabi ng Acts chapter 4 verse 12? There is salvation in no one else. Wala daw po tayo makikita ang kaligtasan sa iba. God has given no other name under heaven by which we must be saved. Wala daw pong ibang pangalan. Kundi ang pangalan lamang ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 5, And you know that Jesus came to take away our sin, and there is no sin in Him. He is perfect, mga kapatid. Though He was human, He lived a perfect life here on earth. Okay? And number 4, number 4, mabilis lang po ito. Number 4, He is a personal Savior. Romans chapter 10, verse 9 to 10. Verse 10 to, uh, verse 9 to 10. Sabi rito, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God. And it is by openly declaring that your, to your, uh, declaring your faith that you are saved. He is the Savior. Okay? 
ba? Paano daw po ba tayo maliligtas? Sabi ng book of Romans, some people are calling this the, the Romans way to salvation. At sinasabi dito ni Apostol Pablo to the, to the Romans na, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Him from the dead, you will be safe. That's why, di ba? Niniwala tayo that Jesus Christ raised to life, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sins, that Jesus Christ was buried. Kaya nga naniniwala tayo. That is the gospel. That is the good news, mga kapatid. And lastly, mga kapatid, is that Jesus Christ, even though He was God, even though He is a human, He wants a relationship from you and I. Ito po yung napakaganda sa Christianity when we learn about who Jesus is. He doesn't want the material things that we have. He doesn't want our money. He doesn't want our possessions. He, hindi, niya, hindi niya kailangan yung pera natin. Hindi niya kailangan yung, yung malaking sahod mo. Hindi niya kailangan yung bahay at lupa mo. Ang kailangan niya ay yung maniwala ka at yung puso mo ay ibigay mo sa kanya. At yung buong pagkatao mo. Tandaan po ninyo. Uh, this quote. I do not know who said this. It is an anonymous author. Pero po sabi niya rito, the predominant theme of the scriptures is the person and the work of Jesus Christ. He is God. He became human being, died by crucifixion, and was buried. He rose again from the dead. He is the only all-sufficient Savior of the world. He will come again to this earth removing... He will come again to this earth. Removing this from the scriptures robs them of all coherent meaning and continuity. When we get to know Jesus Christ deeply in our hearts, you know, in, in, in His words, in the, in the holy scriptures, when we get to know who Jesus is, we get to see His work on the cross. We get to see the salvation that He brings. And we get to see how He really loves us, mga kapatid. So I hope those points sa so pinag-aralan natin ngayon in this devotional that we have, in this little time, in this, lit, in this um, video that I made, ay makita po natin kung sino nga po ba talaga ang ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo. If we have a deep, a deep, deep i cannot just just emphasize how deep that is but if we have this deep relationship with the lord jesus christ day by day nakikilala natin siya how sweet it is to savor kung sino ang ating panginoong iso kristo so i hope that this will encourage you mga kapatid to live a life that is always seeking that is always always seeking the face of God that is always seeking who Jesus is and that is makita natin at makita natin how Jesus Christ loves us God bless all of you mga kapatid hi guys thanks for watching this devotional so kung gusto nyo pa ng mga more and more devotional videos like this please do leave a like share and subscribe on my channel so para makapag para manood and of course choose to hit that bell button na rin for you to be able to notify kung mag upload ako sa aking youtube channel and may the lord bless you guide you and always protect you and this is your boy carly boy leaving you with a quote and a saying that god exists whether you like it or not god bless you mga kapatid and have a good day Thank <laughs> you.